All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be playing Operation Commanding Force, the brand new Rainbow Six Siege season that just released alongside Brava, the new operator, who basically has a little Twitch drone that she is able to drive around and hack Defender gadgets. But what's really cool is the gadget interactions that come with this operator. For example, if Brava runs her Kludge drone into a Mozzie Pest, Mozzie will hack her drone. Then... Brava can take her second drone and hack her own drone back. I've already had this happen to me before. It's pretty funny. There's a lot of really cool interactions with this gadget here. And I really do feel like Brava is one of the better operators released to Siege recently. So I want to give a big thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring today's video and making this possible for you guys. Make sure you guys check out the new season, Commanding Force. But with that being said, let's get straight into some games. All right, a little theme park action. Cannot complain. Theme park's not my favorite map, but it's all right. All right, so let's pick the new operator brava here so as you see she's got two primary weapons you've got the cameras the buck dmr and you also have the para 308 which we saw first introduced with capital that's probably what i'm going to be running the most the dmr is actually kind of fun i was using it somewhere in the tts but the para is going to be your best option right now especially with the extended barrel change which now increases the damage of the gun so you see we went from 47 damage per bullet with this para to 57 damage a bullet an absolute major increase in damage here so this really makes Brava a pretty strong operator, as you can imagine, because not only is her gadget so, so good, but she also has, or sorry, 54 damage. She has a gun that does 54 damage a shot now. So that is fairly good. As for the secondaries, you've got that super shorty and the USP 40. Obviously, I'm going to bring that super shorty. But yeah, her kit is honestly pretty good, man. We also finally have another operator with three drones, as Brava has two of her hacking drones, as well as a regular drone here. So that is very cool as well. Seems like they went to the east side of the map, so I might try to push in by cafe side. Let's see if we can try to throw some drones in from cafe and try to hack some stuff that's in sight. I like when I play Rava, I like to play on the opposite side of the map from where the attacker or the defenders are. The reason being for this is just so that I'm able to drive my drone a little bit safer without having to worry about it getting instantly shot. If I were to say drive it in through like sight drone hole or the sight door. So hopefully with that being said, we'll be able to Mountain. Oh, and I already wasted a shock by accident, but that is fine. So, first things first. Let's try to get this camera here. So we have some intel. There we go. So you can see that little progress bar. Boom, success. There we are. So now you can see we have this cam now. Very cool. Use that information to move up now. I'm gonna try to take some more map control and let's drone up now because we've got our teammates pushing so let's try to drone for them all right so daycare looks clear let's run bunk though you always want to drone out all the rooms so it looks like bunk is clear always check the corners guys always check the corners all right so it seems like we're good now let's try to drove, drive our drone into site see there's a jammer some bandits let's, let's go ahead and take care of those guys all right, so now we'll be able to open up at least one side of that wall. I didn't have another charge for that bandit. But we could also try to go in through the door here. I can find where this jammer is. Actually, you know what? We'll go straight through the wall. Hack that. They got my drone. All right, now we'll push with the team. Use our smoke grenade to burn this. the drone hole we've got time we've got time no need to rush here i'm gonna drone out and just see where they're at all right don't see anybody one sight door he's close oh so there's the new reload change you can see my i went to one bullet in my mag because i tried to reload cancel rotated plant we got it i goyled him off where is he at is he rotating control oh no he is he is i'm watching his cross back we got this oh, i've been spotted time to move rotate to my teammate Let's go. All right. 
I mean, listen, I didn't get like a bunch of kills, but I helped our team open up the wall. We got some good utility. And that's kind of the operator's play style here. That's that's Bravo's play style. You're kind of going to sit back, drone for your team. You actually have four drones. I don't know if I corrected myself there, but you actually have four drones. So you have a ton of info that you could send out there. Not to mention, if you use the Bravo drone to hack like a, a defender cameras like I did last round, the amount of info you can gain just from Bravo is, is truly insane. You could definitely play Brava as more of a entry if you really, really wanted to. But definitely Brava's strong suit here is going to be playing a little bit slower and just trying to drone and clear all that utility. All right, so I kind of touched on the last round, but you can see I've got 25 bullets in my mag right now. But if I go to reload and then cancel it, you can see I go to one bullet in the mag. That's the new reload change. So they're kind of trying to stop people from being able to reload cancel as much and make the game a little bit more realistic, which I do like. So we're pretty far from the site, to be honest. I should probably be a little bit closer to my teammates, but I do want to push above. So I'm going to go ahead and do that anyways. We're going to drone out for ourselves. Just make sure things are nice and clear. And I'm probably going to steal that cam again as well. There it is. So now we'll be able to get some info there. Failure. Oh, right. So I went too far away. So you have to keep the drone within range. So that's kind of my own fault there. I drove away without it finishing. So now it says success. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and take downstairs now. Nice shot. Oh, that's castle. Okay. Here to help. Let's actually throw a Bravo drone through split. Go to the drone hole here. Actually, oh, that camera's already gone. So they probably got... Maybe on this wall. Need somewhere. Y'all came in sight. The captain traps. I'll steal their captains. If they run into the captains, they'll take a bunch of damage now. Where am I? One on five ping and then one on A bomb. Oh, he's close. He's close prone. <laughs> I didn't know he was close like that. It's all good. All right, last round on attack here. Let's make a count. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, it would mean a lot to me if you guys are to like, subscribe, and make sure you guys check out the year pass for Siege. The link is in the description. Get 10% off on it right now. It's really worth it, guys. This new season is great. The All the changes that Ubisoft are bringing to year eight and forwards is, I mean, it's honestly just amazing. Talking The devs talking about supporting the game for another 10 years. I mean, really, it's it's really motivating for me to, to try to really get back in and grind Siege again with how the devs are talking about it. It's making me really excited. So if you guys are also excited, make sure you guys check out the year pass. The link will be in the description. Get 10% off on that until March 20th. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what your favorite change for the new season is. I'm not really sure what mine is. I think, honestly, it may sound kind of boring to some of you, but I I really like the compensator, uh, the compensator change. So they went lab storage. That's actually pretty interesting. You don't see many teams on theme park go to lab storage so you know i'm here for it though i never get to attack lab storage so now we get to learn all right pick my drone up throw the brava drone Cafe Let's go clean. ahead. Oh, he's already droning for us. Cool. I'm going to still drone though because I want to hack some stuff. Start off that camera once again. Just so easy to grab. Awesome. There it is. Captain trap on sight. So if Rook runs into that captain trap, he will actually take damage to it now. But you see the blue? They can see red instead. So they can kind of see that it's stolen. Let's get off drone now. Gotta help our team. Is here, Sludge? Here. There's one here. Here? One to open up over here. Alright. Another captain. I didn't even see that other one. Oh, that's a kill for us if someone walks through there. Show a little bit more. More captains. I, I don't have any more. I want to get a captain kill here. I, I want to go for it so bad. Is no in your 
It's just me and Sledge now, so I have time to drone. Oh, yes, guys. Oh, yeah. All the Capkins are ours. I don't see anybody. I'm gonna rotate. Uh, is one down? Like, I hear him. I, I think he's prone. Over on the west side. Alright, let's drone, because we have so many of them on Bravo. One split. That's good to know. So, you know what we're going to do? Down to one. No, I downed him. Well, it was a good try. <laughs> Man, I can't believe nobody ran into those Capkins, guys. I was trying for it so hard. That is one of the funniest things that you could do as Brava, is you could hack the Capkin traps, and then a defender runs into it, and they get blown up by their own traps. Honestly, it's it's some of the funniest stuff you could do. So, I've been playing a lot of Solus as well recently with the Muzzle Break. If you guys haven't tried Muzzle Break on the SMG-11, I highly recommend you guys try it. I thought Compensator might be the play, with the new compensator change where they're taking the dam or the recoil reduction from 15% to 35%. I was hoping that with that change, the SMG level would be crazy with compensator. But honestly, I'm preferring it with muzzle breaks. So you guys want to let me know what you think down in the comments. Give it a try. Go into like the shooting range and tell me if you guys like compensator or if you guys like the muzzle break more. Go ahead and reinforce sight walls because I've got no setup. If you ever want to slow down attackers, guys, and you don't really want to, like, risk playing in that area of the map. So, say you wanted to slow down a push here, but you didn't want to actually play here. The thing you could do, just make rotates and put, like, a bunch of holes everywhere. And they're going to spend a lot of time droning out everything. Because they're expecting you to be playing here. So, that's just some extra seconds you could burn by just shotgunning some holes on the walls. But it seems like they might be trying to push the other side of the map. Which does happen sometimes. Oh, great shots. Let's go control. I think they're outside in the dragon balcony. One's above me. Yep. Nice. Last one's roof, I think. Yeah, he is right here. Hello? He was here. I heard a window break, but I didn't think that was him. I think he's right here. You guys hear him? Yo, why did we team kill? Alright, we are team killing a lot. I'm gonna do the sensible thing and just stay on site and not team kill. Let's see, can we see him anywhere? No. Thought maybe I'd catch him droning. Listen, my man's is patient, all right? I'll give him that. A lot more patient than I am. <laughs> Where did he drop? Did he drop control? Yep. Oh, I thought I was smoke for a second. Let's go. That muzzle break, guys. What'd I say? It doesn't even move with muzzle break. It's crazy. Alright, it's 2-2. Two, two. Let's win this game. We're going bunk. I'm okay with that. So, let's actually play Ella. So, you can see I got the compensator on. Let's play with the compensator. Because Ella comp... Man, let me tell you guys. I was having a blast playing Ella comp again. Her recoil is so much better than what it used to be. If you guys, like, used to main Ella, and like I did, and you were really sad when Ubisoft nerfed Ella a lot... Well, try the compensator on the gun now. It's a lot better. So be sure to let me know what you guys think about these solo queue videos down in the comments as well. I'm not really sure if you guys prefer when I play with friends or if you prefer when I solo queue, but feel free to let me down in the comments, guys. Right, let's get an LMI there. 
And then, to be honest with you guys, I, I don't know about you, but I always die to someone crouch walking on the stair. I'm just going to place a mine there. Because I don't even want to worry about it. The amount of times I'm, like, holding an angle on the box, and there's no barb on yellow, and someone crouch walks up and just shoots me in the back of the head. Like, I'll be, like, I'll be, like, standing here, crouched, and I'll just, like, randomly die to the stairs. It's like, oh, that sucks. Place our other element here, with that being said. That way, just the staircases are a little bit safer. Plop down a shield, face in the window. Oh no, we reinforced all of this. So normally you just want the two walls reinforced. Reason being is if you go on the other side, the double door can really only see very well into these rooms through these two walls. So you'll reinforce these and you'll put like feet holes or something like that. Usually like feet holes or rotate there. I think they're going roof. I want long range. What do you guys think? Let's help him out. There we go. Where's that at? Oh, I whiffed the headshot. He's lit. Let's go to site. I think they're pushing site. This guy's still on the hatch over here. I think they have cap here, maybe. Oh, yeah. We gotta go run. We gotta run. See, this is why you would want, like, holes here. So we can kind of stop this push. Oh, he, got, he came from behind me. Oh, I thought Chonker was watching this hallway. Unfortunate. One minute left. In sight. These guys have a gnarly cafe push, let me tell you. Ira is stopping Keep it, planting. though. T4! What a wild T4. Yo, Chonker's lighting them up right now. Oh, no, he isn't. He was close on the rotate. So much fire, so much chaos. Close, right? Maybe? No way he wins just off the stick. That would have been wild. He was close, right? I was right. Nice try, nice try. All right, we'll pick up Doc, and I've been running the Flash Hider, but I've actually been meaning to go and try the uh, Extended Barrel again, because the Extended Barrel now gives you extra damage. So you see, we went from 27 damage to 31. So I haven't used the Extended Barrel on the MP5 in a few weeks, so I want to see if it's actually still very, very, very good. All right, first things first, let's grab the Sight Walls. Because if you're an operator that doesn't have any sort of setup with their gadget, the best thing to do is go around and make as many reinforcements as you can. As many rotates or whatever you can do. I'm gonna open this before he reinforces it though. Is he gonna do it anyways? No, alright. So at least we have part of that open. Barb on yellow, don't gotta worry about that. We will have a lot more barb now. So hopefully I don't get like randomly flanked like that. Like I did last round. Wait, I hear a Maru? Reload cancel. I gotta actually reload. I think I just heard a Maru. I did. There ain't no Maru's in. Off room. Break room, I mean. Break room. Wait, up behind me again. I was gonna vault that rotate. He gone six the hatch and dropped. No. This Amaru. This Amaru really messed us up. Oh, TGs, I think. Listen, guys, you can't you can't win them all. Maybe Clash wins. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nice try. Yeah, guys, that was just a little sneak at the new season commanding force. A lot of people in my Twitch stream have been asking for me to go over the battle pass as well. So I figured since we're out of the game now, I'll just quickly go through the battle pass. I'm not going to show every single little item. 
but I will kind of just scroll through here and show you some of the highlights. So if you guys are interested in picking up the premium battle pass, you guys can see exactly what's inside of it here. Some pretty cool skins, I'm not going to lie. I really do like these operator backgrounds that they've been adding in. I think they look really nice. And the drone skins are really cool too. I was a little bit worried that drone skins were going to make the game a little bit arcadey. But honestly, I f they're, they're pretty good. I like them. But yeah, this is the, the new battle pass. A lot of pretty cool skins in here. I actually really like the helmet. Tons of Bravo packs. They also changed how Bravo packs work now. So... Well, sort of. So let's go to the packs here. So you guys can see that we now have year eight Bravo packs, um, which actually maybe they they fixed this now, but there was two different sets of Bravo packs. But let me, let me quickly just explain the small change to Bravo packs. So if you right, we'll, we'll explain it right here. Collect year eight Bravo packs by unlocking premium battle pass tiers. No duplicates. All items in the pack have the same chance to drop. Bravo pack tickets can be used in the collection page. So as far as I understand it, these tickets right you can spend them to buy any skin that you would like so you can see in the bottom left all of these skins cost one of these bravo tickets and the way that you get these tickets as far as i know is you can get them actually by completing the premium battle pass you get one for each battle pass as, as far as i've been told so you guys already know i'm going to be buying the led5 black guys commanding force is finally the season that i get it it only took eight years but I'm going to get it. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the new changes to the Bravo packs and the battle pass and all that good stuff. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember, check out the new season with the link in the description. Get 10% off the year 8 pass available until March 20th. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you guys are new. Like the video, etc., etc. And I will see you guys in the next one.